what is up you guys? It's Noah Wilson here from iHollywood TV. Well, I had the pleasure to speak with one of my all-time favorite entertainment journalists, Nancy O'Dell from Entertainment Tonight. Um, I adore her. I really look up to her, especially um, the career that she's made for herself. And she's from the Carolinas. I'm from Georgia. We both have our Southern accents going on. And she's going to be calling me from the phone. Yes, from the phone. Uh, so anyway, take a look at my interview with Nancy O'Dell. Hi, Noah. Nancy, how are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, Nancy. I want to first off start by saying that you inspire me as a young, up-and-coming interviewer and host. I watch you every night on Entertainment Tonight, and I just have to say congratulations to you and all the success you have done in your career being, you know, an entertainment journalist for more than 20 years. So before we kind of talk about your show, I just want to speak with you a moment about the career you've made for yourself and what is some advice not only would you give to me but to other upcoming hosts and interviewers out there that are wanting to pursue a career in the entertainment industry oh well that makes me feel good thank you very much i appreciate it i would say that just work hard persevere don't have anyone tell you that you can't do it i had somebody tell me in the very beginning that oh you don't want to be a reporter that's like way too hard and they're a dime a dozen <laughs> and you know it'll be too hard you'll never make it it's an uphill climb so don't have anybody ever tell you that you can't do it just persevere and do all the hard work that is needed and uh, make sure that everybody focuses on your intelligence your hard work your uh goodness and the qualities and uh and don't ever give up and you know i i trained in a small market. I know a lot of people don't do that now, but I always say that to me that that was the best experience that I could ever have because I did all of the different jobs because it, you know, you're kind of a one man band. I worked the camera, I did my editing, I did my producing, right. I did all my writing. Um, so I kind of learned all the jobs that we have one person for, you know, entertainment tonight, you have all uh, different people that do all those jobs. Uh, but it makes me understand now when the camera man is asking me for a particular shot, you know, you know why they're doing it or you, you understand why they're making that shot and shooting it the way that they are. So I loved, you know, learning and training in a small market and working my way up. Again, a lot of people do it differently now, especially with the internet. The internet wasn't really around much when I started, you know, 26, <laughs> 7, 30 years ago, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know. See, like with iHollywood, we're online, we're digital. Everything's going digital, Nancy. <laughs> so, I know um, it is crazy, isn't it? I know. <laughs> All right, Nancy. Anyway, I just want to say I really admire you, and I'm, this is a, really the highlight of my days. But let's go ahead and chat about um, your new Reels series, Sex, Scandals, and Crime. So tell us about the show and what audiences are really going to see when they watch this new show on Reels. Well, Sex, Scandals, and Crime, and um, it premieres on the Reels channel Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific mm -hmm. Time, and it will air again at 9 p.m. Pacific Time, um, 8 p.m. Central Time. And it really takes an in-depth look at all the scandals that uh, rock the biggest names in the industry. And, um, of course, I was covering all of those huge stories, and it really started the Me Too movement, the hashtag Me Too movement, really started mm -hmm. with the accusations against Harvey Weinstein. And if you'll recall, it just was like, as I say, that's how I describe it. It was like just one name after another. It was like you were coming in, and every day mm -hmm. it was just, you know, another big name being taken down. And it was mm -hmm. some of the most shocking times in television and in the movie industry, right. and, you know, um, in you know the employment industry just overall it just you just could not imagine what was taking place and so it really takes an in-depth look at that we have one of the accusers of harvey weinstein and she describes in uh, in depth what she claims happened to her um and then it goes into all of uh the big names that were taken down after that and really where it took us to today mm -hmm. and how it has changed us as a society and how it has really changed the workplace that everybody works in today and why people now are not afraid to go to their HR department. If they feel like something is being done wrong, why they are not afraid to go anymore and why they're going to be taken seriously and how all this came to effect. It's really confusing if you think back to it, like how did all this transpire? Because it all happened so quickly. I mean, within um, a matter of two weeks, we had two of the biggest names in morning television who no longer had their jobs. 
and um, you had you know Alyssa Milano who tweeted out hashtag Me Too um, shortly after Harvey Weinstein was accused, um, and her tweet was retweeted uh, 12 million times within 24 hours, and then within uh, 48 hours, it actually had reached 82 different countries. So you realize what wow. a global issue this is. You realize like what a crazy global issue this is, and it was just. Time's up for everybody, you know, all the women showing up at Black mm -hmm. at the Golden Globes and how that happened. And so if you want to be in the know as far as why your culture has changed in your workplace now today and why it is going to be changed for your children, this series will tell you everything about how that transpired for you to be able to explain to your kids and your family and uh, for you to know in general uh, in your workplace um, kind of how that all transpired. So has the Me Too movement finally brought a day of reckoning for those abusing their power in Hollywood and everywhere else? One can only hope the accusations and allegations bring an end to the sex abuse and misconduct stories that I and so many others find ourselves reporting on all too frequently. I don't think that raising awareness is enough to actually change the system. The next step is to put in systems of accountability to prevent sexual harassment and sexual violence from happening in Hollywood. That step has not happened yet. Well, Nancy, I'm really looking forward to watching it. Be sure to, set, uh, to watch Sex Scandal Crimes premieres Wednesday, July the 24th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific on The Reels Network. Uh, thank you so much, Nancy, for joining me this morning. I just also want to say, too, I have family in the North Carolina area, so, you know, I, I'm a Southern boy from Georgia. <laughs> I can tell by your accent, and I love it. I want to talk Southern with you. I'll just go back to my South Carolina accent. <laughs> oh, Nancy, it was a pleasure. Have a great morning, and thank you so much for chatting with me. Oh, it was good to talk to you. Have a great day.